Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an organized with me. Listen, I am going to be authentic and show y'all, okay, my little messy spaces. We're starting small. I am trying to get my house organized. Um, I just, you know, I feel better when I can see everything. Everything has a place. And so this is the start of that. I did some very, you know, aesthetically pleasing organization, but it is the start, many more videos to come. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and let's get into it. So this is my spice cabinet, you guys. Okay, I know, I know. It's a little, it's, it, it, listen, I keep things, okay. You are going to be shocked when I show y'all some of these dates on these spices that I have not used in cough, cough years. Some things that aren't even opened. Okay, listen, please don't judge. I'm just being, I'm just being real here. Right now we're gonna go through and take everything out. I feel like that's where we have to start. Um, it's just like clearing everything out. Um, and then I will go through and begin sorting. Listen, I told y'all I had a few, you know, things that weren't even opened or were opened and just really, really old. Child, I had some candles up in there. My vitamins were in, you know, just everything was just all over the place, okay? So obviously I'm going through and making sure nothing is expired and making sure it's stuff that I'm gonna use. I mean, at this point, if I'm not gonna use it, there's no point in keeping it, right? Next thing I'm gonna do is go through and clean. So I um, took out the shelf liners I had cause I'm gonna use some better shelf liners this time and cleaning everything out. So I ordered some spice jars. These are from Target and y'all, so cute. It's really giving. Like I love how these turned out. They are gorge. So they were pretty affordable. I'll make sure to link them below. Um, but this is how they ship them. And then I also ordered some cute black labels from Etsy. And so then I go, I washed everything and now I'm starting to put the labels on them. I'm not gonna lie, I like, am really a stickler for wanting like the labels to be straight. So I, you know, peeled and unpeeled the labels on a couple of these numerous times. Um, so I guess one thing I can say about the labels is, you know, they do stick really well, but you are able to adjust after you put them on the first time, which is a good thing to know because all labels are not made the same and that is the truth. So I am just going to go through you guys and decant all of the spices. Now this is a key. I'm only decanting spices that I use extremely often. I decided that I'm not going to put the expiration date on any of these, but all of the spices that I am decanting, all of them expire next year or later. So I'm purposely doing that um, because one, you don't want spices that have gone bad, but two, I don't see the point of decanting something you don't use extremely often. Um, you know, I don't use poultry seasoning, okay? Or um, for me, curry powder, or, you know, there are plenty of, of spices that I don't use that often. And then there are my solid 12 that I use extremely often. So you can do this. I mean, you can also write the expiration dates on the bottom in Sharpie. It is glass jars, so I believe Sharpie comes off of glass jars. So that is also an option, you know, you don't have to do it this way. You can decant everything if you want. But for me, I prefer only to decant things that I know I'm gonna use. If not, I kind of feel like it's a waste. So that's what I'm doing now. I 
I always wanted a spice drawer instead of like having them in the cabinet. This is one of my mini drunk drawers. Again, we decided we're not gonna judge each other. This is a safe space, okay? So I am cleaning out the drawer and all of the randomness that lives there. Cleaning it out with my Dyson. I'll make sure I link this below. I freaking love this vacuum. If I can make a video on how much I love this vacuum, I would, okay? Um, and then I am also using this um, different shelf liner. I'll make sure to link that below. I love it, super easy clean. Um, and then I am using this little tray I got from Target in the front in the little dollar spot. It was five bucks um, to organize my vitamins that were all over the place. And then I'm just using a little container from Home Goods for all of the things, like I said, that I don't use as much, right? The tahini, you know what I'm saying? The tomato paste, the poultry seasoning, the ground ginger. It just doesn't get used as much in my house. So that's where I'm putting that for now. And then you guys, so I bought, I just thought I was so cute. I bought this really cute, you know, shelf organizer off of Amazon and I was putting my spices in it and I was just like, oh, this is so aesthetically pleasing. Ivory, you have such taste, you know, all of the above. And then tell me why this thing does not fit my drawer. As you can see, my drawer is not very, I guess, deep. Um, and I did not account for the fact that the wooden tops would kind of like stick out on this platform. I was super disappointed, but this did not fit for me. I could not close it. So instead I got rid of that. And right now I just have them laying flat in the drawer. I still may buy one of those like lay flat organizers, um, from Amazon or something like that. But this is how they look right now. I am obsessed. The black. The black is really doing what needs to be done. Love that. There you have it. We have an organized spice drawer now. We are cooking with grease. So one of the other projects that I did, um, you guys, I decanted all of my like cleaning sprays that I use really, really often. So what I did was I found these soap pump jars from Target, again, in that front bin, $3 a jar. And I went through and I removed the bottoms I bought another set of custom labels from Etsy and then look how they look. So freaking cute. Now I am using my favorite counter cleaner here. And guess what? The sprayer that comes with the cleaner actually fits the bottle. So what I started doing was just saving the sprayers. You know, I, um, I had a couple of bottles cause we have these counters in more than just my kitchen. And instead of having to like order something, I was able to just cut down um, the sprayer and use it on these bottles. And they look so freaking cute. I'm actually obsessed with them and they spray really well. I don't have a lot of issues with leaking or anything like that. It's, it's really giving all of the vibes I needed to give. I got these anchor hawking jars that I love. They have the black tops. Um, they are so, so nice and they hold so well. I have people ask me about these jars all the time. Y'all, I got them on sale like four years ago. It must have been a fluke because I only paid $6.99 for each of them. And now they're like $25 a jar. But what I will say is they do keep everything fresh they are extremely aesthetically pleasing and I'm obsessed with them and how they look on my counter. Again, ordered these labels from Etsy. I'll make sure to link those below. And I just use this, I keep it on my counter. It's perfect when you need a scoop of flour really quick cause you're making a sauce. You know, you need to put some brown sugar in your oatmeal, whatever you need to do. It's like right there. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I said, I get questions about these all the time. I love how these turned out. That's it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of organized with me. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, but everything will be linked down below for sure. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.